It's one of the most historic places in Danville, from underground tunnels to escape the feds during Prohibition to the very first stone house in Kentucky. We're talking about Luca Mariano Distillery, and joining me now with more details is owner Francesco Viola. Thank you so much for talking with me today. Thank you for having me, Joanne. Appreciate it. Yep. Absolutely. So let's start from the very beginning. How did Luca Mariano get its start? So I, I never intended to to create a business with Luca Mariano. Um, my grandfather and I, when I was a kid, we used to distill together. And uh, he passed away in 1999. And, and in 2010, I brought out his old still and started distilling in my garage. And had no idea it was illegal to distill in your garage. I, you know, my family, my parents were born in Italy. And, uh, you know, even though I was born here in America, some things kind of are lost when you have foreign parents. And I had no uh, no idea that it was illegal. And so once I learned it was illegal and I had, a, I developed a passion to uh, to distill, I decided to, uh, to get a license, realized you couldn't do it as a hobby. So I decided that the next best thing is to, you know, see if I can make a business out of it. And it, it's really worked out well. I really enjoy it. I love it. It's it's really it's not even work. It's like a pat. It's a, it is a passion of mine, and I love uh, I love what I do. That is so cool. Okay, and recently you unveiled some amazing plans for the future of Luca Mar Mariano. You've got to give us the details on this. Yeah. So we have uh, a several hundred acre farm in Danville, Kentucky, and what we're doing is uh, it's it's a very historic farm. So we're preserving the historic value of the of the land. We're going to minimal. We're going to do minimal uh, uh, development. We don't really want to disturb too much of the land. We do have to make a business out of it, so we will have to build the minimal, you know, amount required for a small craft distillery. But we own the oldest home in Kentucky, and this home is the William Crow home. It's a the William Crow house. It uh, his family founded. His parents founded Danville, which Danville used to be called Crow Station at one point in time. And we're going to tell the story of William Crow. Um, and how he fought in the Revolutionary War and the things that he did uh, throughout his life. And then in the 1920s, there was a, a guy named Guy Jones, and he uh, he was an American barnstormer. We have tunnels on the property that lead to the silo, into the home, into the airstrip that's still recognized by the FAA. And uh, he has broken parts of his still still remaining in the, in the silo that we're going to restore and make part of our tour. Wow, that is so interesting. Okay, and I understand that music is a very important part of the experience at the distillery. You have your own band? That's correct. So, like, I have a passion for music, and, uh, you know, I'm a businessman, so I don't have time to really develop that side of me. So what I decided to do was put together some of my friends, uh, friends of mine in, in Nashville, and Kenny Fuller is the, is the leader of the band. He's the guitar player, and he helped. He and I write music together. The band's called the Old Americana Band, and one of our our, our small batch, our five barrel small batch, five year small batch is called Old Americana Bourbon, Old Americana Rye. It's a Kentucky straight product, and and so we kind of like merged the music, merged uh, the bourbon together, and rather than me always get up and tell our story, we've written music to uh, to to tell our story and. One of the songs that we're real proud of is Bourbon in the Back, and that tells uh, the story of Guy Jones and, and the property and, and the William Crow House. So it's uh, and mentions Danville in there, too, to pay tribute to Danville. Wow, Francesco, you're like living out all your dreams. Like this is all happening right now. And, and when, I, <laughs> when I visited Copper and Oak, I heard so many wonderful things about your bourbon. What products do you have available right now? So we have our... Luca Mariano Old Americana Small Batch uh, Rye, our Small Batch Bourbon. It's a five-year product. It's five years, five-barrel small batch. And we also have our Luca Mariano Single Barrel, Kentucky Straight Bourbon, Kentucky Straight Rye, and that's a six-year product. And so we do, I, I, my birthday is January 17th, which just happens to be the first day of Prohibition. And so we do a, a special release every year uh, with that, 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 that to pay tribute to Prohibition. And this year, we did decide to release one barrel in the, during the mid-year. We just did a, a single barrel pick for the Kentucky Bourbon Festival. They're, they're going to be recognizing that, and that's my Francesco S. Viola signature. And it's a, it's a real special bourbon. It's a Kentucky straight bourbon. It's six years. Eventually, we'll, we'll grow that to be 
between seven and 10 years. So that is so awesome. Francesco, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you very much for having me. And we encourage everyone to get out and visit Luca Mariano. Find them online at lucamariano.com and on social media at Luca Mariano Distillery.